Hi guys, I'm uh, Dave with uh, Cross Current TV. In this episode, we're gonna head on down to uh, Mossy's Fly Shop, where he's gonna show us how to custom weld loops into our uh, fly lines, our shooting heads, and our tea material that we use for uh, sink tips. This seems to be a question that kind of keeps coming up, so we're gonna head on down to his shop and uh, see if we can't get some of those questions answered. Hi, I'm Mike Brown with Mossy's Fly Shop in Anchorage, Alaska. Today we're going to teach you how to weld loops and fly lines and make loops and sink tips. Why would you need to put a new loop in your fly line? You break it in the field instead of having to buy a new fly line. We can repair that and get you back on the water. So the tools to do this job, you need a heat gun, scissors, clear heat shrink tubing, a hook tool if you'd like so you don't burn your fingers, sink tip material, or fly line. So we're going to weld a loop in a ridge line running line from airflow. Turn your heat gun on. For this polyurethane coating that airflow uses, I like the gun to be set at 390 degrees. Take your clear heat shrink tubing. We'll take the running line. We'll slide this through. You're going to want this heat shrink to be four to five inches long. Bring it around back inside the tubing. Being that this is going to be a, a loop to backing, I want this to be in there a good three, four inches or so of double over before I start the weld. Pinching right there, you can adjust this down just to right about there, that's a big enough loop. Take it over. I'll kind of start the heat melting process like this. Then I'll use my fish release tool so I don't burn my fingers. Slip it on there like so. Hold this underneath the gun and just watch as the material starts to, to bond together. And just slowly work it down. You can watch this stuff as the, as the crease in the middle goes away. all the way down here to the end. You don't have to go quite to the end so it don't burn. Work it back slowly, like so. Lay it out and then just roll it, rolling your fingers away from each other like so. Take your scissors and then while it's warm, you can just peel that right off. And if you want to clean that loop up, just hold it in there for about three seconds, pull that out, pull on it, and there you have a welded loop. Now you've seen the process of how to weld the lines, let's talk about a few things that goods and bads and do's and don'ts. You basically have two different types of T-materials. You have braided core T-material and you have monofilament core T-material. Advantages to the braided core is that the core will not melt under the heat that this gun puts out, so you're weld solid without damaging the internal structure. With a monofilament T material, you have to be careful that you don't melt the monofilament, which will, even though you got a good weld, the core will break, making the tip fail. In the lines, the airflow stuff, it's a polyurethane. It bonds quick, smoothly, very strong. PVC lines, a little bit trickier you can do it. You'll have to play around with your temperatures. You need to be a little bit slower, I've found. I definitely would practice with some old lines before I went and put one together that I planned on going to fish with. On your heat shrink, I use two different sizes. Your smaller size for your, your sink tips, your running lines, is a 1.6 millimeter. For doing the heads of fly lines, maybe if you break off on there and you need to just fold it back over and weld it back, 2.4 millimeter works a little bit better. One other thing on heat shrink for sink tips, I like to use 1.6 millimeter colored sections, just a little short piece, slide that heat shrink up, shrink it down. So this way I color code so that whether I got T7, T10, T11, I know which tips are which by the color band I put on them. Like fly tying, welding loops, splicing lines is becoming a very popular thing these days. 
Hopefully the things I showed you can help you create smooth, seamless loops, get you back on the water fast. This is Mike from Aussie's Fly Shop. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Cross Current TV. Uh, that was a lot of information we got there, so I hope it helped you out a little bit. Uh, special thanks to Mike Brown from Mossy's Fly Shop for uh, showing us how to get it done. We'll see you next time on Cross Current TV. At Cross Current TV, we want to hear from you. We'll take your questions and ideas posted to our Facebook or YouTube pages and use them for future episodes. And click here to check out the trailer for our first fly fishing adventure movie, Cast Alaska, available now on DVD. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> there you go, Jada. Should we cut?